Hey, Dove here from NV Auto with another customer build breakdown. Although this one we're just starting, so you're going to see a step-by-step -step progression on how we built this Porsche 911. So this Porsche, this is a 964 model, um, started out as a Porsche 964. Um, you notice that the fenders on it, this is all of the body kit that you can see right now. We've already re uh, fitted this RSR replica kit. So if you think of like a 1973 Porsche 911 RSR, that's what this car is going to look like in the end. Although cabrio, but still it's going to have the older 73 front end with the hood that curves over nice smooth bumpers and the big wide fenders. Um, you may notice the wheels on this car, they're definitely different than uh, others you've seen. It's a single center lock and that's because the owner of this car uh, runs a company called Augment Wheel Company and they make custom one-off wheels. And uh, one of the sets he's test fitted for this car are these, I guess they call them Fuchs-ish wheels with a center lock. It's a really good looking wheel and just give you a glimpse of what this car is going to look at like. So the plan for this car besides the wide body kit is something that's a little bit different. Some Porsche Paris will be a little bit upset but uh, we're going to put a Tesla drivetrain in this thing. Uh, we've already acquired the motor. I'll show that to you guys shortly um, and we're Figuring out right now, we've just stripped the entire chassis down to bare chassis. Uh, there's nothing left of the original mechanicals in this car anymore. So uh, it's going to need a chassis harness for all your lights and signals and stuff like that. And then of course the wiring for the EV motor. And uh, fitting the EV motor into this car and the batteries. Um, there's some kits on the market right now for this kind of car to do this swap but we found that the weight balance is a little bit not optimal and fit and finish is not up to our specs. So we're gonna do our best to make this car as balanced as it was, if or if not better, from Porsche. So this is the drive unit that we're using. It is from a P100D from a Model S. Normally, in this configuration, it'd have a front motor as well. We're only going two wheel drive on this car, so there'll be this will be installed in the engine bay over here. Um, still gonna deliver a ton of power for this car and be, I'm gonna say arguably, it'll definitely be faster than it was from the factory. Um, but this is, uh, before they came up the new Model S and the Plaid, this was the biggest, baddest drive motor they have. Um, we actually picked this up a few years ago. This project has been in the making for some, quite some time now. And um, we've had this here and we've just been planning and organizing trying to get it in. And now's the time to start the project. So next time you see this, hopefully you'll see Vin doing some fabrication work, getting it all built in with the cradle. Right now we're just in the process of putting some fresh wheel bearings in the car because unfortunately this car was pulled apart mechanically wise, engine transmission before we got it and somebody was pushing us around with no axles in it and knocked the wheel bearings out of it. So we just did a fresh set of wheel bearings. We have to mount this up, and then we already have the axles and the conversion parts to convert uh, the Tesla output to the uh, Porsche rear uh, hubs. So now is really the easy part, right? We just need to bolt this in here. Well, it's not that easy. We are going to have to make a custom subframe. All the pickup points we're going to use the OEM Porsche engine mount points and transmission points. We've already started here. The first step, VIN's already started with the training mount. And it's going to have like a large cradle is kind of how I have envisioned that's going to hold that drive unit. Um, and the key is to have the, all the axles in the correct position. So we have proper suspension travel and uh, we're not going to bind the axles up or anything like that. Once the engine is mount, mounted, then we're gonna to have to figure out where we're gonna put all the batteries. There's gonna be, I believe, 16 batteries. I'll show you them to you in a moment. There's gonna be 16 batteries, and we're probably gonna balance them between the back and the front of the car 
to keep that weight balance, you know, spot on so the car doesn't feel awkward when you're driving it. And we may actually be able to improve it from the older 964 chassis. Actually, what I've been looking to do is doing weight splits like they have in like a 997 and a GT3, something like that. Try and get the weight balance closer that direction so the car handles even better than it did stock. All right, so we're tucked off in the corner of the shop right now. We've had this large crate sitting here for a few months and it contains all the batteries that we're gonna be installing in that Porsche. Uh, these are OX drive batteries by Electric GT. This company here does a bunch of uh, EV retrofits and batteries and power units. Uh, this is a, they, they do a lot in this market and um, what I'm told about these batteries is they're used in motorsports. So it's like a motorsports grade battery. Um, and we're gonna be working with Mountain Pass Performance on this project to get all the wiring done on the battery, on the EV side of things. So we'll take care of the chassis harness and all that stuff, but Mountain Pass Performance is gonna be working with us. We're gonna get the batteries all mounted up and everything, and they're gonna help us uh, do all the wiring. It's something that's new for us, so it's a little bit, uh, don't wanna be experimenting with these kind of batteries. They're very expensive and um, Mountain Pass Performance has a lot of experience in the motorsports sides of things in the EV world. So we're gonna work with them directly to get all these batteries dialed in. And like I said, there's 16 of these. So we're gonna place them throughout the car wherever we can to get that weight balance right where we want it. And uh, they're not terribly light, but uh, not terribly heavy. If you think about all the things we're taking out of the car, engine, transmission, and all those things, the Tesla drive unit is very light. These are fairly light. I think we're gonna come in under what the factory car weighed and we're adding a bunch more horsepower. Should be a wicked car to drive. So that gives you an idea roughly of where the motor is gonna be placed in the chassis. You can see we still have lots of room to play with. Um, probably gonna mount some batteries up back here in this area as well. There's some controllers and other electronics that have to go here. But as you can see, we still have a ton of room to work with. So we've gone from a fairly large engine and transmission package to this very small drive unit. So these are kind of the first steps. Make sure you like, subscribe, so you can follow along as we build this 964 into uh, what I'll call the ultimate EV portion.